everyone. Jay Bookie back again. Today we're going to build the USMC Lab 25 Piranha by Trumpeter. So let's open up that box and see what we got inside. All right, so we got a nice package of mesh and clear parts for windows and viewports. We have individually packaged sprues with nice detail. Pretty decent little kit. Really nice manual. Easy to read. Comes with a couple of uh, color schemes. I'm going to be doing a desert paint job today though, so I'm not going to be paying attention to that. The box has a side compartment with the hull of the vehicle. Also some nice rubber tires. These are really nice. And some water side decals, which I'm not going to be using. Don't forget that turret top. So one thing that stuck out immediately was that there's a lot of plastic that's left over after the manufacturing process, so you really need to clean everything up. Get your knife out, some sanders, and go to work. $5 sharp side cutters. You know them, you love them, you want them. This kit comes with clear parts for windows, and let me tell you, you better prepare yourself for a fight because it's a struggle to get these things into place properly. Let's just say you're going to need some super glue for this kit. A lot of gaps. It's going to help you hold the big pieces together and kind of get them as flush as possible. Here it is, the moment we've all been waiting for. To me, a great putty. Got to take care of some of these ludicrous gaps in this model. Oof, look at the crack in that. Good Lord. So, uh, small parts, weird positions. Almost broke my kit at this stage.
patches for days. So these smoke launchers, super awkward. This was like my 18th attempt. Guess who's ready for paint? This guy. All right, let's start it off with this Vallejo Black Primer. Unify the body, discover imperfections. Blast that booty. Mm. a base coat of Vallejo US Desert Armor. I'm gonna go over the entire kit one time and then I'm gonna come back over and do it again to lock in that color. Notice that I'm sputtering a little bit. Yep, bet my tip again. making highlights with Vallejo US Desert Sand. I know it looks a little stark against the base coat of this model which is a lot lighter but we're gonna be blending this in with one more color. <laughs> Let's 
So now I take some Vallejo sand and some U.S. Desert sand in a 2 to 1 ratio and just start blending everything in. The previous color is nice because it gives a, a good shadow effect, but it's too dark to be by itself against the backdrop of that base color. So when you mix these two together, it kind of helps smooth everything out. better there we go up those recesses getting the cracks and crevices give them some volume to me a panel liner black this stuff is awesome i use it on almost every kit that i build the panel liner is an enamel based product so you're gonna need a little bit of odorless thinner to be able to get it off of your model if you put too much down like I did. Just get an old brush, dampen it up, and swab it until it goes away. I'm going to add some MIG filters. This one is orange for desert yellow. This is a pretty cool product. It doesn't really replace oils to change up tonal variation, but it just gives you another type of effect. It looks a little bit different than oil. One of my favorite products, Streak and Grime by MIG. This stuff is great. It literally replicates filth running down the side of a vehicle. It's enamel based, so you can actually use some thinner and streak it out even further and feather your effect to lighten it up. God damn, that looks good. Mm. It is time to hand paint the parts. Viewports, silver backing with Tamiya clear paint. We're going to be using blue for the viewports, yellow for the headlamps, and then we're going to be using some red for the taillights. Now I'm just going to dry brush some Citadel lead belcher to kind of break up this black gun barrel, give it some wear. All right, now we're going to weather our hull some more. Some Vallejo dry pigments, and we're going to bind it with MIG binder, which I believe is like a, a thinner base product. At least it smells like it. it says it's non toxic. I don't know if I believe that. <laughs> it smells horrible. Can we still make it happen? It's worth a try. We're going to do the same.
same thing to the tires. Hit it up with a little bit of that Vallejo pigment, dry brush it in, and we're also gonna add a little bit of contrast with a lighter pigment, like this desert sand, and it's gonna nicely simulate some accumulated dust and dirt. Well, at least I think it will. Winter's done and I can't seem to adapt. All right, last but not least, a couple scratches with a fine brush, brown black acrylic paint, just to simulate some field wear. I don't want this thing to look like it was destroyed like every single other model that I've ever built. I got a problem, okay? add a little bit of a lighter color like some buff just to simulate wear rather than something that cut right through the paint the final product looks awesome I could not be happy with the results it is certainly worth every bit of effort that I put into this whoever managed to see this video somehow with my really crappy promotional skills thank you whoever subscribed to me already thank you for supporting me and if you're not subscribed, do me a favor, hit that subscription button and activate your notifications so you know exactly when I come out with new videos just like the one you saw today. Take it easy, everyone, and I'll see you next time.